Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do a homemade Cornish pasty. The typical pasty filling has chopped skirt steak, potatoes, onion, and turnip. But since I don't eat meat, I'll be showing you a veggie version with potatoes, onions, carrots, and peas, which is still really common in England. And really, you could add anything you want to it instead of the steak, but it's pork, cheese, peas, carrots whatever you want. And it's really versatile. You don't need to follow the traditional recipe if you're doing this at home. It wasn't really meant to be fancy anyways. Pasties were made for the tin miners way back when in Cornwall. Their meal size could be carried around easy and they're pretty cheap to make. You're gonna start out with making your short crust. Take two cups of all-purpose flour and blend it with about a teaspoon of iodized salt. I already have that here. And add nearly a cup of vegetable shortening and hand mix it till it comes together sort of looking like sand. It's going to take a while. Uh, but anyways, add a few tablespoons of cold water at the end when it starts looking like sand. And you can knead it together and try to keep the dough cold. Try to use your fingertips instead of your entire hand because you want to keep this cool. Cold dough is better for baking because it makes it crustier and we don't want a wimpy soft crust for our pasties. A few tablespoons. A lot of tablespoons. It should start coming together soon. And now it's looking like the dough ball that we want. It shouldn't be too sticky. If it's too sticky, add a bit more uh, flour. But otherwise, if it's not, roll it into a ball and put it in cling wrap or a freezer bag, whatever. I have a freezer bag on hand. I'm going to chill it in the fridge for about 20 minutes. And now while we're waiting on the dough, while it's chilling, we can put all our veggies together. And we're not really adding anything spectacular. There, there go the carrots. Uh, it's just salt and pepper. We're just going to let it all sit together until, uh, until the dough is ready, until I've cut it out into rounds and everything. So all the veggies are in, just add some salt. I like to see salt. Uh, and some pepper. And just mix it around a bit. Now when the dough is ready, we can use this as a filling. Okay, now our dough is out of the fridge. It's nice and cold again. We're just going to put some flour on a clean country cup and put the dough on it and we're going to try to roll it out. This keeps it from sticking. Whenever we get to the cons well, not consistency, sorry, thickness that we want, we can cut it into rounds. And since I don't want to make meal sized pasties, I think using just a cereal bowl would be good enough. Okay, there we go. Now, like I said, we're just going to use a bowl. And cut around it. Mm -hmm, like a second one. Oh, this doesn't fit. This just makes it a lot easier. Okay. Take away the extra dough. We can use that later if we want. Put that to the side. And we have the rounds that we want. It's round, so I'm going to get them. Spoon some of the filling inside and just put it in the center. Just with some water. Press the edges so that they stick together. Like so. You could use an egg wash, but I don't want to waste an egg on something like this. Be careful not to put too much filling in or it won't close or it'll tear. If it tears, just put some more paste, pasty 
uh, dough onto it. I'm gonna wet this one too. I'm making moon shapes. Just fold it over until the edges meet. I'm going to try to crimp the edges. I'm not very good at this since I'm not English or anything. Just try to fold the edges a bit. A, so it gets a bit tighter, and B, so it looks a bit more appetizing. Okay, I really suck at this. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, pieces fall out. Just put them back in. Oh well, it's all going to eat the same, so I'm not going to worry about it. So, no, those are sealed. Take a few slits for steam to get out. Kind of like a pot pie. Because we don't want these to burst or anything. We want them to be nice and clean. Now, since I don't eat eggs, I didn't use an egg wash to have the nice brownie and crustiness on top of these. What I used was a mixture of olive oil, food coloring, and cornstarch. The cornstarch, um, well it's all about pH and stuff. You learn it when you're doing pretzel making and it should have the same effect that eggs have and we'll see when they come out. And there we have it. Perfect Cornish pasties.